Hello, everybody. This is Bettina from tap2flow.com. And today I'm going to show you how to tap away stage fright. It works just as well for any sort of performance anxiety. You can also tap away, you know, anxiety before an exam or a job interview. That sort of thing. If you don't know yet at all what tapping is, uh, it's also called EFT, short for Emotional Freedom Techniques. And it does exactly what it says on the tin. It helps you to quickly release negative, intense emotions. So how does it work? It works, uh, we will tap on certain uh, acupuncture points in the face and upper body uh, while speaking out loud about our problem, in this case, the stage fright. And what happens there is this tapping action actually sends messages to the fear center, the stress center of your brain, telling it to calm down. So in the moment when you have, you know, an intense emotion and upset, you calm it down quite quickly. And also if you do it regularly, what happens is you do rewire your brain, um, you know, and hopefully will not be so upset next time you have to go on stage or have to do an interview. Okay, how are we going to do it? You need to have your hands free. So if you want to tap along with me, um, and it would be good if you're in a fairly quiet place. So before we start, just take a deep breath. Always start taking a deep breath. Don't hold it, just in and out. And now imagine you know, maybe quite vividly, the next time you have to go on this stage to perform and see what happens in your body. If you're getting nervous, if you're getting this little bit of apprehension, how and where does it show up in your body? Um, you know, for many people, it shows up as sort of a tightness in the chest, difficult to breathe freely, or others tell me um, I can feel a lump in my throat. Uh, some people feel it like a knot in the stomach. So that varies a little bit individually. Just notice um, how that feels for you. For the purpose of this, of, of this video, I'll just assume it's a tightness in my chest. Okay, That's, these are the words I'm going to be using but notice where it is for you. And also maybe notice how strong it is when you vividly imagine having to go on stage, you know, between a zero, which is nothing, and 10 is the worst it could ever be. How strong is it when you vividly imagine it? Okay, deep breath. And now we begin tapping. You can tap with either hand. Um, normally we use the dominant hand, but you know, doesn't really matter at all. And the first round, I will talk you through the points and uh, just tap along with me, do what I do and repeat out loud what I say. Makes it much more powerful to speak out loud. Okay. So I assume that when I think of going on stage, maybe having to make a, you know, give a presentation in my case. Um, yeah. But I can feel that in my chest and it's probably right now it's only about a number four in intensity, but it, you know, could be higher when I get closer to the event, I suppose. So we begin by tapping on the side of the hand. This is the fleshy bit on the side of the hand. And we tap there with the other hand, flat hand or fingertips, doesn't matter. And we begin by saying, even though I get really nervous when I think of having to go on stage, I love and accept myself anyway. Repeat after me. Even though I get really nervous when I think of having to go on stage, I accept myself anyway. even though I get really nervous and I can feel this tightness in my chest and I choose to breathe. 
So this was the setup statement. We do this three times. And now we take index and middle finger of the tapping hand. Again, either hand is fine. And we begin to tap what we call the round. The first point is where the eyebrow meets the bridge of the nose. And I have to work around my specs. That's possible too. So you want to tap hard enough that you can feel it, but don't injure yourself. Gently, don't hurt yourself. This nervousness, side of the eye, in the, right in the corner of the eye, in the bony bit. This stage fright, under the eye, on the bony bit. I have to go on this stage. It makes my chest really tight when I think about it. Under the nose. This stage fright. It's increased under the lip. I always have it when I have to go on stage. It gives me this tightness in my chest. Point is in the middle of the chest, and you can take your whole hand here. This stage fright. All these people there. Next point is under the arm, about a hand width below the armpit. This stage fright. Next point is right in the middle, top of the head. All these people will see me and they may not like it. They may not like what they see. Back to the first point, eyebrow. It may be embarrassing. This stage fright, I'm nervous. I love what I do. I have chosen to go on this stage. Part of me wants to go on that stage because I love what I do. And I know I'm good at what I do. And yet I always have this stage fright. Not feeling good enough. Everybody else can do it, but me. All these other people can do it, but I'm worried. Do they really want to see me? I'm not sure whether I'm good enough for this. I love what I do, but I'm scared of going on stage. This tightness in my chest. All these people seeing me. I'm not sure whether that's safe. I'm not sure that I like the idea of being seen. Part of me does, because I'm good at what I do. And part of me is really scared. And I choose to breathe anyway. So at this point, just take a deep breath again. And feel inside your chest. How does it feel now? Has it changed at all from the intensity it was before? Especially when you think again, imagine vividly again, you know, there's this stage and you're gonna walk out on this stage now. What happens? Is it just as bad as it was before? Maybe it's a little bit better. So if it's a little bit better, then we acknowledge that in uh, the next round we tap. If it's not better, then we just tap as before. even though I can still feel this tightness in my chest. It's a little bit better, but I still feel that stage fright. And I love and accept myself anyway. Even though it's a little bit better, I can still feel it. And I love and accept myself anyway. 
even though I still feel some of this stage fright. I choose to breathe. This remaining stage fright. I'm still feeling some of this stage fright. It's a little better, but I can still feel it. I wonder why I'm doing this to myself. Because I love what I do. I know I'm good at what I do. I just don't like to go out there, be seen by people. I'm not sure that that's safe. Maybe it is safe. What is the worst that can happen? I could be embarrassed. And that's an awful feeling. But then maybe it all goes very well because I know I'm good at what I do. And I choose to breathe. All these people seeing me. Part of me wants that. Part of me wants to show them what I can. And a part of me is scared. And that's okay. It is quite something to put myself out there and be seen. So it's normal to be a bit nervous. But I choose to breathe anyway. And I completely and deeply love and accept myself. Okay. So at this point, taking a deep breath again, feeling inside your chest, how does it feel now? Or if for you, it was a lump in the throat or tightness in the shoulders, feel inside that. The words I've just used, they are just examples. If you want to tap along to this video because you have an exam coming up or a job interview and you're afraid of that, then you can vary it a little bit for your purposes. You start by imagining going into this room where the interview will be held and seeing the people sitting there and then feel inside how that makes you feel. Where is the anxiety sitting? Tension in the shoulders, lump in the throat. And then you can tap with this. Just use the words that are appropriate for your sense of situation. The one thing that's important is that you don't stop too soon. We've done only two, three rounds now, but um, it might take a little bit longer to tap until you feel relief. Give it a try. And if you want to let me know how it goes or you have any questions, Email me at bettina at taptoflow.com. Thank you. Bye.